Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel Among in Cloud. So in this video, I'm gonna get some understanding around the system details that you can get as a Linux administrator. Now you might ask me, why are we discussing about Linux administrator, right? So as a cloud or a DevOps engineer, you would be dealing about a lot of production grade Linux systems. In production and all, we'll be using all Linux servers only. It can be RHEL, it can be you know, Ubuntu or any other you know, uh, uh, OS type. So in this video, we are going to get or we are going to grab system details in standard words. Right. So what I have done is I have created an you know Azure virtual machine and I've logged into that virtual machine. And right now, if you see, I am logged in as a root user and this is the host name. So I gave a rel hyphen server that as a host name. So that is why it is displaying here. As I'm a root user, it is giving me hash here. OK, so first let us grab some system details. So the, in this video, I'm going to cover few system you know, details which are required for a, a Linux administrator in, a, in his day to day activities. OK, the first one is to get the kernel details. You can just type in uname. OK, so this will give you the kernel details, right? So the Linux is our important thing next. To get the network host name and, and the details related to that, you can just type in uname along with space hyphen n, right? So it will give you the details about the server OS type. So rel server, okay, the host name. Next, you can, uh, if you want to look into the information about your kernel release and all, what you can do is you can just type in uname itself remove hyphen n and you add hyphen r right so this is going to give you the kernel version right so or the kernel release sorry next if you want to fetch the kernel version so as uh, you have already guessed you name hyphen v right so if you uh, put in that command you will get the kernel version details okay so that's about the kernel details that you can get so if you want to get the machine hardware name and details about the machine hardware, what you can do is you can just type in uname itself hyphen M. OK, hit enter. You will see the machine details. It is having x86 architecture, right? So next, if you want all the details, whatever we discussed here above, if you want to print all of them together, you can just type in uname hyphen A and it will give you in a single line, right? So all the details will be there in a single line, right? So that is uname hyphen A. Next, uh, let us get into the, uh, you know, hardware details, okay? So if you want to grab your system hardware information, so first let me clear my screen. So the shortcut is control L at the same time, or you can also type in clear. Right. So to get the system hardware information, you just need to type in LS HW HW for hardware. So this is going to open a lot of details which you cannot read if you do not know anything about hardware. So if you do not know anything about hardware, do not try to open it uh, in the first place or else if you want to, you know, understand what details we have, you can just type in this command, right? So if you're really interested, you can come in here, you can check what is the CPU related details, memory related details, and you can see the network details, you know, all the things related to hardware, you can come and see by just typing LSHW. Right. So that is all you need to know. Let me clear the screen. Now, let us go a step further and understand the Linux CPU information to get the CPU related information. What you can do is LS CPU. If you just hit enter, you will get all the details related to CPU. If you see here, this is the architecture and this is a CPU OP, OP mode and you will get the byte order, little Indian and you have the CPUs, you know, one and the sockets and all the things, all the information related to your CPU, including model. It is provided by Intel Exeon uh, Platinum CPU works at 2.6 
uh, gigahertz and this is the boys model and this cpu megahertz all the things that is required for you related to cpu you will get just by typing ls cpu right so that is what the importance of linux commands now let me clear the screen back again now let's go a still more uh, you know further and discuss about block device information so if you want to get your block device information means hard disk or any external disk that you are using what you can do is you can just type in ls blk right so if you hit enter it will give you the complete details related to your block device so here if you see this means slash means root right so that is the root uh, uh, mount point so mount point means you can say uh, what you can say is uh, profile basically right so in in uh, windows we have c drive right so this is just like that so slash is just a, a c drive for your linux you can consider like that right so and this is the hard disk and you see uh, it is having two partitions and the second partition is still more divided into these many things and there is another one here and this is how you can find the details and you can see the file size here right so sorry the device size here 64 uh, you know gigabytes and you have 500 am and all the details related to your uh, block devices okay next we will fetch the usb controllers information so for that what you can do first let me clear the screen and as you have guessed already so the command is very simple uh, ls usb right so it will not result anything here as i am not attaching any usb drive to my mac right so you, you i have not attached anything i do not have it handy here so it is not resulting anything so that's why it is showing uh, empty right so it went to the next slide so that is about a usb now let's talk about pci device information so now you might ask me what is pci device information so pci means peripheral component interconnect so peripheral component interconnect pci is a local computer bus for attaching hardware devices in a computer and it and is part of pci local bus standard so uh, you know it it will be like a you know what i can say um, if you have used breadboard uh, to as an electronics engineer you would be knowing that so it, it is just like that uh, attached to your you know motherboard so that is how it is like uh, you know it is kind of white color you know board so i cannot explain it uh, you know I, can, I i would have shown that if i had it so as i do not have just understand that is peripheral uh, you know uh, component interconnect if you want to get the details about that what you can just do is you can just type in lspsi so i'll just type in lspci sorry uh, it is lspci if you hit enter you will see the details related to that i know that you might not be understanding what is this details but if you're you know uh, you know day to day task in your uh, in your day to day task you are using pci devices and things like that you would be needing this one right so as a daily system administrator you won't get into such nitty gritties right so next uh, we'll we'll get this uh, information about scsi device information so now you might ask me what is scsi so it is you know small computer system interface which is a set of standards for physically connecting and transferring data between computers and peripheral devices right so the scsi standards define commands protocols electrical optical and logical interfaces so if you want to get the details about you know scsi devices uh, you can just type in ls sci okay hit enter sorry it is scsci ls sc sci okay sorry uh, i'm just missing something here uh, ls scsi okay ls scsi i'm getting confused guys sorry uh, if i hit enter yeah if you see here you are getting the details about this one so uh, you you see this this is a virtual desk and this is also a virtual desk and this is a dvd rom and this is what the you know uh, device mount 
and the details right so uh, this is how you can get the SCSCI device information next uh, we are going to fetch the details about serial advanced technology attachment in short we call that as SATA so, right so serial advanced technology attachment or SATA it is a command and you know transport protocol that defines how data is transferred between a computer's motherboard and mass storage devices such as hard disk drives, HDDs, optical drives and solid state drives, right? So to get those information, what you can do is uh, you can just type in um, um, uh, what you can do is, uh, you know, you can just type in LS, uh, uh, you know, SCI hyphen, sorry. I'm just typing no I'm just skipping this SI again and again so if you uh, you know hit enter you will get all the details about this one next thing what you need to do is uh, you know you can just type in HD PARM and you can provide hyphen G and slash dev slash you know SDA sorry it should be SDA one right so that is what we are uh, you know getting it here if you see here sorry h it should be hd so i don't know why i'm making so many typo in this video but you know understand guys i'll hit enter if you see here it will give you the geometry of you know uh, the you know it will print the information about the device uh, geometry right so let me clear the screen now so i'll just uh, it you know hit and control plus l now let us get the information about the file system. So which is very straightforward, uh, which is uh, the command is fdisk, fdisk hyphen L, right? So if you hit enter, you will get the file system related details. It is a long list if you see here. Uh, so all the things related starting from the beginning, it is going to give you. If you see here, uh, you have, you know, dev slash dev uh, sdb1 and this is the, you know, boot uh, start and all this you know size everything sdb sda 64 gigabits and um these are all the details and here if you see you have all the details related to the uh, entire devices that you have and all the the disks that you have right so this will provide you the complete disk details about the you know f disk right file system information now let's um, you know go further uh, up and let's extract information about hardware components right so let me clear the screen we'll go one by one first let us fetch the information about memory so we need a special command for this one we call that as dmite so i'll just type in dmite code hyphen t and you need to uh, you know if it is for memory you can just type in memory right so it will give you the memory related information if you see here the complete thing it will give you uh, for example these are all the different things that you have uh, you see this memory array you have how many number of devices you have and what is the size everything related to memory it will give you right so let me clear the screen again now you might ask me how to get the system related information for that click up arrow instead of memory change it to system that's all right so i'll just type in system and i'll hit enter so this will give you the information about the system so if you see here the manufacturer is microsoft corporation because i'm using microsoft virtual machine and here if you see the product name they are mentioning virtual machine the version uh this one Hyper-V they are using serial number, UUID, wake up, many things even I am not sure what is the details about. So if you know the details, please just let me know in the comment section, even I can learn it, right? So I'm just putting across the commands that I usually use of, to grab the information, right? So that is what I'm trying to do in this particular video. Now, if you ask me to get the details about bias, so uh, you can just type in the same command instead of system, remove it and just type in BIOS, BIOS and hit enter. If you see here, the details is same. Uh, you It is provided by the Microsoft and this is using Hyper-V. This is the release date and this is the ROM size. This is the all the characteristics of this virtual machine. BIOS revision is 4.1, system is virtual machine and all the details are here. Right. So now let me clear the screen. 
and let us get the processor related details so for that you can just type in the dmite code hyphen t and instead of bias you can get uh, type in processor okay so i'll just type in processor and i'll hit enter so here if you see this will give you the processor related information if you see uh, the manufacturer uh, all the details intel is the manufacturer and this is what the version is and voltage it powers up with 1.6 volt and it is external clock speed and max speed current speed all the things right so all the things related to your processor will be displayed just by typing dmite code hyphen t processor right so these are all some of the you know system level you know uh, commands that you can use to grab system uh, details right so as a cloud or a devops engineer this is very much needed this solves most of the problem if you can get the right commands and if you can uh, you know provide these commands and get the proper information your 50% job will be done right so i hope you are enjoying this series if you are liking the content that i'm creating please consider subscribing and share it among your friends thank you and i will see you in the next one